Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's me, your boy, Malik, holding it down once again for Video Editing Software Guide. I'm bringing you all of the Power Director videos you guys know and love, and I've been getting a lot of requests to go ahead and break down how to change the pitch of a voice in a video. So you know your boy had to get it done for you. Let's get into it. Here we are in Cyberlate Power Director 13 Ultimate. There's two different ways to change the pitch. So if you have the director suite or you purchased audio director separately, I'm gonna show you how to change the pitch that way. If you do not have audio director and you do not have the director suite, then I'm gonna show you how to do it with a separate program called Audacity. So let's check out the way to do it with the director suite or audio director first. You can see I have my clip down in the timeline and I have trimmed my clip to how I want it and where I want the pitch to be affected. You could do that too if you just want to change the pitch on a specific piece of it. You can split it. You could just click on that one video clip, whatever you want. So if I click on this clip, you can see that I have some adjustments here. I'm going to go over to edit audio. I'm going to click on edit audio. I get the choice to use audio director or wave editor. I'm going to select audio director. And so it brings the clip into audio director. Now you see it's here. So I'm going to click on adjust audio. And then I'm going to click on adjust pitch. Now you can adjust the pitch by using the slider to move the semitones to the left or right, or you can use the arrows to move the semitones up or down. If you move to the left or the negative, then your voice or the pitch of your voice will get deeper. If you move to the right, then the pitch of the voice will get higher. So let's see how it sounds if I move it to the left, negative six. I'm gonna click on apply. And now I'm gonna click on play. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers if I wanted it to go deeper than that, all I need to do is move the slider to the left and it'll go deeper again. If I want to make it higher, I can move it to the right now. Click on apply. Now that should be the regular pitch because I moved it basically right back to where it was, uh, six semitones. So let's move it higher. Click on apply. And now click on play. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. So if I wanted it to keep going higher than that, I just move my slider over to the right or my arrows up, click on apply and click on play to preview it. So you get the gist, right? Easy to do. Now all I would need to do is click on the back button and it'll send me back to power director and it'll ask me if I want to save the changes I made to the audio. You would click on yes if you wanted to save those changes, but I'm gonna click on no. The reason why I'm clicking on no is because I gotta show you how to do it with Audacity. So if I wanted to do this with Audacity because I don't have the director suite or I don't have audio director, then I would just right click on this video clip and I would choose unlink audio and video. I would then click on the video, which is the top layer, and I would click on the trash bin to remove it. Now all I have on the timeline is the audio. So I'm gonna click on produce, and I'm going to create an audio file that I can change in the program called Audacity. So I'm gonna click on this audio file button I'm gonna change it to a waveform audio. And 512 kilobytes per second is fine. I'm gonna select the location where I want to save it. Click on save. And click on start. 
I can go back to the editing page. And you saw Audacity for a second. I'm going to bring Audacity back up. Now, Audacity is a free audio editor. So you can go to the link that I have in the description and get this program for free. It will not cost you a red cent to use it. So I'm going to go to File, Import, Audio. I'm going to choose the file that I saved, that I produced in PowerDirector and click on open. It's going to ask me if I want to use a copy of the file or the original. I'm just going to use the original because it's faster. And you see the audio file is here now. So I can play it by clicking on the play button. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. And, and you can tell that it's still the same. Now, I clicked on the stop button. Do not use the pause button for this because if you do, your effects won't come up. So I clicked on stop to stop it from playing. And now I'm going to go to effect. And change pitch. Now here, once again, I like to use a slider. You can change the semitones up or down, and it correlates to a specific uh, note. Like right now, it's on B or whatever. And you can change the frequency. I just like to do the percentage by using the slider. If I move it to the left, once again, it'll go slower. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers and put them in his pee paw. And if I move to the right, it will get higher. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers and put them in his pee pot. So I'm going to leave it on a higher pitch and I'm going to click on OK. And now I'm going to go to File. Export audio. And I'll call it Peter Piper High Pitch. And click on save. It's asking me if I want to add metadata. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to click on OK. And now I can go ahead and minimize Audacity. Now, I'm going to click on the undo button so that I can bring the video back onto PowerDirector. And now I'm going to import the media to get the new audio. And now if I drag this high pitch sound down to the timeline, it should match exactly to the other one that I created earlier. So now I'm going to delete the audio and bring the high pitch audio up here and play it back and see what we got. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers and put them in his pee paws man purse. People are crazy. People are crazy. All right, guys. Now you know how to change the pitch of your voice in PowerDirector. Do me a favor, okay? If you like the content in this video, hit the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Also, leave me your comments. You know I love comments. I love to help you if I can. And if I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction to get you the help that you deserve. And of course, if you want to see content like this on the regular every other week, you got to hit the subscribe button. All right. If you don't hit it, you're missing out.